Chirag and welcome to part 4 of the tutorial series on AWS Cloud Formation. So guys in this tutorial we will go through how to retain resources while deleting the Cloud Formation stack. So let's say you have deployed few resources via Cloud Formation stack and at some point you want to delete the stack but at the same time you also want to retain few resources and then uh, delete the rest of the resources. So in order to control the deletion behavior of resources we can use a deletion policy attribute with respect to the resources for which we want to control the deletion behavior. Okay, so now as a next step, let's have a look at how we can define deletion policy attribute within our cloud formation template. So here, as you can see on my screen, I have defined a sample uh, cloud formation template, which basically creates the S3 bucket and the Lambda function as a part of the resources. And it basically takes the input for the S3 bucket and the Lambda function name as a part of the parameters. Okay, so this is the very simple uh, template that I have defined over here and using this template we will see how we can use the deletion policy attribute. So before we go ahead and define the deletion policy for one of the resources, let's have a look at how we can define the deletion policy first. So here to define the deletion policy, all you have to do is to type in deletion policy and then followed by colon and then you need to define the option that what kind of behavior you want to achieve via deletion policy. So now here we have three options. So the first one is retain. The second option is snapshot. And the third option is delete. So here we have the three options as a part of the deletion policy. Now here whenever you define the retain option, the behavior of the retain option is that it will keep the resources in case there is a stack deletion. Okay, so that's how the retain option behave. Now the second option is snapshot. So the snapshot option creates a snapshot of the resource before that resource is deleted. Now snapshot option is not available for all the resources that you define as a part of the cloud formation template, but it is only available for resources that support snapshots. For example, uh, RDS DB cluster. Okay, and then finally we have the third option that is delete. So basically when you define the delete option, it deletes the resources along with the stack deletion. So whenever you go ahead and delete the stack, it will also delete the associated resources. And the uh, delete option is the default option if you don't specify or, or if you don't set a deletion policy, right? So now for example, if I go ahead and uh, uh, deploy this cloud formation stack, and then if I go ahead and delete that stack, it's going to delete the S3 bucket and the Lambda function resource as well. Right, so that's the default behavior that it's going to delete all the resources associated with the particular stack whenever you delete the stack. Okay, so that's the default option. Now uh, let's go ahead and define the deletion policy for one of the resource. So I'm going to define the deletion policy for the S3 bucket. So in order to define the deletion policy, all you need to do is uh, go under the uh, particular resource and then uh, press enter and then all you need to do is to define deletion policy and then uh, you need to define the option that what kind of behavior you want to achieve via deletion policy so here we want to achieve the retain behavior okay so whenever i go ahead and delete the deployed uh, cloud formation stack it should not delete this s3 bucket right because i want to retain this resource i want to retain this particular s3 bucket whenever the stack is deleted so that's how we are telling the uh, cloud formation that we want to retain this resource. So now uh, here we are all set to deploy this cloud formation template. So let's go back to our AWS uh, management console and let's look out for cloud formation service. Now once we are within cloud formation management console, click on create stack. Now here uh, we will select template is ready and we are going to upload a template file and then click on choose a file. And then I'm going to select the deletion underscore policy dot YAML. And then I will say open. And finally, I will say click on next. Now here I need to enter the stack name. So I would say deletion demo. Okay. And then I need to enter the Lambda function name and the S3 bucket name as a part of the parameters. So I would say deletion. Okay. And then I will provide same name for the S3 bucket as well. I would say deletion and then I will click on next. Okay, it says tech name must contain only letters, so I cannot enter underscore. So let me remove this and then click on next. Next again. 
and then I will say create stack. Now as you can see the stack creation is in progress so let's wait. So I guess here we have some problem so it says properties validation failed for resource lambda function with message required key role not found. Okay uh, so basically we have not defined the IAM role within this uh, configuration or the properties. So that is something that we need to define. So let me quickly pull that out. So here I have this repository that is AWS cloud formation template. So I'm going to copy it from here. So here I have this resource that is IAM role. So let me copy this and paste it over here for this lambda function. So we'll remove this role name and then I'm going to define the property that is role that is over here. And I'm going to paste it over here. Okay, and we are good to go. But apart from that, if you have noticed, then uh, here it says the deletion skipped, right? So there is a rollback uh, due to some error, right? And as a part of the default behavior of the rollback, it's trying to delete all the resources that has been created. But here, as you can see, the deletion has been skipped for the S3 bucket and it's due to the deletion policy that we have defined with the retain option. So for now, let me delete this tag, delete stack, and then I will also uh, manually go ahead and delete this S3 bucket. And then we are going to redeploy uh, that cloud formation stack. Okay. So here as you can see the stack is deleted. So now uh, let's click on create stack again and I'm going to re-upload that deletion underscore policy dot yaml file. Okay. And then let's click on next with the stack name I would say delete demo function name delete demo delete demo. Okay. So I entered the same name for the lambda function and the S3 bucket as a part of the parameters and then I'm going to click on next, next again and here I need to acknowledge because I'm creating the IAM role so that's the reason I need to acknowledge this so I'm going to check this and then I will say create stack. So now the stack creation is in progress let's wait. So now as you can see the stack creation has been completed and it's successful. Now if we look at the resources then here we should be able to see three resources. One is S3 bucket, lambda function and IAM role right. And for these two resources that is IAM role and the lambda function we have not defined the deletion policy. That means by default whenever I will go ahead and delete the stack it's going to delete the first two resources. But for the S3 bucket I have defined the deletion policy to retain this resource. Now whenever I will go ahead and delete this uh, cloud formation stack it's not going to delete the S3 bucket due to that deletion policy. Okay so now let's try to delete this stack. So I'm going to click on delete and I will say delete stack. Now if we look at the events let me reload this. So it says uh, delete demo delete in progress lambda function delete in progress and then comes the S3 bucket and it says delete skipped and why the deletion is skipped for the S3 bucket it's because of the deletion policy right because we have set the deletion policy to retain. So now if I go ahead and uh, click on resources and if I try to open this S3 bucket okay then I should be able to open this S3 bucket right that is delete demo delete demo uss one So if I sort by creation date so as you can see here we have that S3 bucket. But if I try to go ahead and click on this lambda function or try to access this lambda function I will not be able to access that because that lambda function is deleted. So guys this is how you can use the deletion policy behavior for your lot formation template and for different resources right and I have also walked you through the different option that comes in with the deletion policy that is retain snapshot and by default behavior that is delete. Now for example uh, you might ask that what will happen if I go ahead and update the cloud formation stack. So let's say here I have this cloud formation stack and if I go ahead and deploy this. So let's do that. First let me uh, delete this uh, S3 bucket. So 
So here I'm, I'm trying to show you that uh, what will happen if I deploy this cloud formation stack right with the deletion policy as retained for the S3 bucket and then uh, if I go ahead and update the same stack so what will happen to that resource right so let's have a look at that so here click on create stack I'll say choose a file deletion policy and then I'm going to click on next with the stack name little policy I'll copy and paste the same for the parameters next next again acknowledge secret stack now while the stack creation is in progress let's uh, have a look at this cloud formation template and let me uh, delete this resource from here and then I want to perform the update operation for this particular stack so stack creation is still in progress so now as you can see on my screen the stack creation is completed now I want to update this particular stack with the uh, newer template so I'm going to click on update and then I'm going to say replace current template then upload a template file choose a file I'm going to select the deletion underscore policy dot yaml and then next so here we have the default parameters I will click on next again and then next again I acknowledge update stack now the update is in progress let me reload this so it says update complete cleanup in progress and the update is completed as well and now if you look at the s3 bucket logical id it says uh, delete skip it's because of the deletion policy set to retain okay so this is how it will behave if you want to uh, update the part particular stack with the deletion policy as retained so guys uh, that's all i wanted to cover as a part of this tutorial until that time if you want me to do tutorial on any use case or service then please leave them below and i will try my best to come up with a tutorial as soon as possible and if you have any queries or comments then again please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time